This video is sponsored by BetUS. Follow my pinned Twitter post and my Instagram story for more details and use promo code JOIN125 to start betting your favorite sports. To Hi, Leal, I think he's going to meet Kevin Kroom and I have a feeling this is going to be harsh matchup for Harley Alating. The Mongolian Knight, 14, 8 to 5 foot 5, 66.5 inches of reach. Fighting out of Inner Mongolia, China. This guy fought to a draw against Gustavo Lopez, lost to Casey Kenny, outworked Ram Benoit and uh, Dana Batkirel. This guy is extremely, extremely tough opponent. He also competed amazingly at Road FC. Lost only to Kaya Sakura, but he is extremely tough opponent, extremely, extremely tough. And in the early stages of his career, he was easy one for everybody. At 1FC, he destroyed Stefan Langdon with those punches and soccer kicks. Now, Kevin Kroon, 21 14 oh, 34 years of age, 5 foot 11, 73 inches of reach, which means as much as I can say that Kevin Kroon is going to have 6.5 inches reach advantage. He is a taller fighter. But he suffered back-to-back -back losses to Alex Caceres, Brian Kelleher, no contest against Roosevelt Roberts. In Bellator, he was better than Adil Benjelani, which kind of came as a massive, massive surprise. <coughs> he lost to Kamala Kirk, but destroyed Eric Mina. He was better than Charles Bennett. I mean, this guy has some serious uh, victories under his records. Also lost to Matt Bassett. He's so damn unpredictable, man. Kevin Kroom has a good day in the office, he might beat everybody, but if he has a bad day in the office, he's gonna lose to the worst fighter in the world, and he's so, so unpredictable. Haile Alating is pretty much always fighting the same, so it really much depends on uh, Kroom's shape and uh, Kroom's mood on that day. If we have to analyze part by part, I think Haile Alating offers very much better wrestling. His submission defense is good, but submission offense is like so-so. I mean, Alating will rarely go for the submission unless he's forced to. And Kevin Kroom on the other side. Kevin Kroom is also more of a striking guy. He also goes for submission only if he's forced to. So I'm going to say fight starts round three. If I must pick a side, I'm picking uh, Alating highly. So yeah. Highly well, I think if I must pick a side, fight starts round three.